Welcome back. So this is a continuation of our FFmpeg series on how to stream to YouTube or other streaming services. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments or you can go ahead and check out the playlist in the description on the other videos in this series if you want to see what we've been up to. So in this series, we're going to take a look at different video input devices. Let's take a look at the script I've written. So this is a continuation of the other scripts that we've written. And I've just added some uh, quick information here. We would want to be taking the input from a device. So I've been playing around with different devices. Uh, I have the built-in webcam for this laptop, but we're not going to be worrying about that one. I do have a USB webcam and an RCA input device that I have connected to a clone uh, Nintendo Classic type thing. And I also have a USB microscope. I do have a HDMI capture device, but I have that connected to my... Uh, terrestrial digital television setup and wiring it to this laptop would be problematic and you get the concept it all basically will work very similar don't need the uh display number and the screen number so we'll comment that out gotta keep the input frame rate there and here we can play around with the resolution that we want just to keep things simple i'm keeping it still at the 1366 by 768 which is still 16 by 9 so everything will scale correctly the output frame rate will leave at 60 frames per second and if you want to use uh, that sleep command to delay this for some time you can go ahead but this isn't going to be showing your screen so there's no chance of like displaying information on your screen but you may want to have your input devices set up you may want to give yourself a little bit of time and you can also do this with what we have done in the previous video and do a countdown so if you haven't seen that again take a look in the comments for that or just go to the channel page and check that out over here we use the uh, v input device variable which you can see up there we were going through and we'll get back to that in just a moment we're using the plug hw1 audio for this and which is just a cheapy usb microphone that I have connected and doesn't sound that great but it's good for demonstration purposes. Format for the output video we're leaving at uh, as FLV. We can change the, uh, you can add the Kodak to do H.264 if you want and this is the audio filter that I'm using and it would have to be different if you use the multiple uh, sequential inputs that we used before because you need to do the mapping so you need to use the filter complex and normally you would send it to the live stream but I'm not putting my live stream key on this for obvious reasons so that would be the URL that you would use uh, if you had a local host which I've done before you can do that but for this I am just throwing it into video X dot FLV just for testing. Back to this V input device. I sort of just glossed over it at the top here where I had it mapped to video one, video two, video four, video six. And the odd number ones are video with metadata and it's used differently, but we're just ignoring them and I'm just leaving them there as a reference not to use them. I have them mapped and I was testing with them, but at least now I know, oh, if I use that, it's an error. In a future uh, video, I'll show you how to do this exact same thing, but with a uh, FIFO pipe and so you can take from different uh, inputs. But how do you know that this one is video zero and this one is video two? Let's take a look at that. So if we go ahead and look in the slash dev v4 L directories. That is not a one, that is an L. Somewhat difficult to see with this font, and I kept referring it to the V41 when I was recording earlier, and I just want to classify it's V4L, and I believe the L is for Linux. But if you look in that directory, you can see by ID or by path. 
So let's go take a look in by path and it shows the USB device and some numbering and the video and you could take a reference to that but not very useful at least to me so instead of by path we go by id this again if you don't know what it is doesn't give you any helpful information but you can go through and do some testing and see oh which device zero what is that connected to does device six what is that connected to and a good way to actually test that is you can use the program VLC or VLC Media Player. And you just click on Media and Open Capture Device. And over here, you can see the different capture devices. So if I want to see what is on Video 2, I can go ahead and select it and then hit Play. And I can see that it's my... USB webcam, which I'm completely out of focus, but this is just for demonstration, and that's very bright. Yeah, so just a USB webcam, and we can go back and change the capture device. So let's see what USB, or correction, uh, video 4 is, or, yeah, video 4. And we hit play, and there is the... RCA device so that's where I know which one is the RCA device and we can go back and also check the audio device we're using HW1 which is the USB device HW0 is the built-in 1 8 jack on the laptop HW2 and HW3 are probably the RCA device and the webcam probably has their own audio I haven't well, the RCA device definitely does because it has stereo audio coming out of it. And this USB camera, not sure if it has audio. Haven't really played around with it, but that's probably what those are. And you can change the, check the video standard in our uh, VLC, but that's not what this video is about. Okay, so now that we know that video 2, the J-I-E-L-I is the webcam and the uh, micro sill is the RCA, we could just make the assumption that the UVC, which is, I believe, the brand name of my microscope, is Video 6. And that's, I did this check earlier, so this is what we came up with. Let's do uh, some individual video checks. So let's start off. Instead of using Video X, I'll do Video W for the webcam. And we will do Video 2, which is the webcam. We'll uncomment that. Go ahead and save it, and we'll go ahead and run bash on the Y4SH. That's just the fourth video that I've, uh, or the fourth script that I've done in this series. And we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to put the number sign to comment that out. So we got an error, and let's try this again. Hmm. Okay, so we had a couple uh, errors there. One is I forgot the to comment out that this is the webcam, so it was trying to read that whole item as part of the variable, and the other issue and i have no idea what i'm recording here i'm just showing the laptop because i have nothing else worth filming with this uh webcam and the other error was i had vlc running so it was running into a conflict on opening up this device so again you have issues with having the same device opened in multiple locations go ahead and uh quit that what you probably saw on your screen is the video from that overlaid, depending on how bad it is. And we can go ahead and edit the script again. And instead of going with the webcam, we can go with the RCA device. And I need to remember to put the comment. I think that was, yeah, those are the two I forgot to comment. We'll go ahead and exit that out and go ahead and run that again. Again, yep. Oh, no, we do not want to overwrite that file. We want to change this to video R. 
Go ahead and run that. And it's pulling some information from the RCA. And I have no idea where I put the game controller on that. So you'll see just that static screen that I was showing earlier. And we'll go ahead and just quit that. That You don't really need to see that screen too much. The downside to this is that you can't, if you're doing it to a static file, you can't see what you're doing. There may, there's other ways to try to split it into different items so you can view one while de saving the other. But if you're streaming, you'll see it on your uh, streaming dashboard if you haven't started the stream yet or on the live stream if you have. Next, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the microscope. You need to remember to comment out the one that you are not using. And you can create a different script, like in, instead of using the Y4, you can have just name your script, stream webcam, stream RCA, stream microscope, stream HDMI, stream X11 desktop, stream, and whatever other device you're using. You can have a VGA input. You can have, again, a static video that you want to input there. So you can name it different things and you can have these devices run after each other, but you have to, you would have to play around with the timing, which we'll cover in a future video. We're going to go ahead with the microscope and we'll call this video M and we will go ahead and start streaming. And again, I'm just running my fingers across the front of it I don't have anything particular to check with the microscope I don't even know what the focus is right now just this is something irrelevant to what you need to see so we're going to go ahead and quit that so those are just some simple ways to add input devices onto your FFmpeg stream again we just made a video file for each of these but as you can see in the other videos and other ways, you just need to add that URL to your stream. Make sure you have your stream key listed and you can go ahead and stream any of these devices to YouTube. So this is a continuation of the series. So these are some notes for future videos and the current videos. Earlier on, this is how I had the webcam HDMI and RCA uh set up but we've uh changed that around and these are the scripts that i've used the uh, x scripts are my live uh scripts that i've been testing with and why are the sanitized scripts that i'm showing on the screen again these are just my simple notes x1 and y1 were used just for the proof of concept that i was doing to make sure that the basis of this would work. Y2 video was with the X11, and that video has been uh, published. Y3 is with the countdown video, and that one is published, and by the time you watch this, it will, the video will be out. So technically that's scheduled, not published, but whatever. Y4 is what you're looking at here. The input devices, the gone from the scripts have been started to it's been recorded and i have a note to ask about live streams so the culmination of all these is to make a live stream when should i do that so go ahead and leave that in comments so leave the times that would be best the days of the week that'd be best and with the times uh if you can include the time zone because i do see that i do have international viewers and we can go ahead and I can get some input. So in the next video over here, I'm going to be showing you very similar to this, but using the FIFO pipe to get the information from FFmpeg and actually go from FFmpeg into FFmpeg to do multiple items. And then at that point, I should have a schedule of when the live stream is based on any input that you guys provide. So again, please give me any comments below on how you want this to go. What my reasoning behind doing this is, is that I have been using OBS to do streaming. Except for OBS, because it's doing the on-screen rendering and it's doing, all, it's doing a lot of things. 
It's a very good product, except for it takes up a lot of resources on this older laptop, this 10 to 12 year old laptop that I've been testing with Debian Bookworm. And I want something simple. And when I came across FFmpeg and I realized that it takes up less resources to do streaming, that's what I wanted to do. The culmination of this is to get something that's usable. Right now I have a series of scripts and it's kind of clunky. So what would make this useful? Let me know. Let me know, okay, this is complicated or this is perfectly fine and it's helpful. Let me know. But if it's complicated and you want me to make it simpler, we can work with that. And also this has all been done on a Linux laptop. If you want this done on a Mac or Windows, let me know which operating system you're using and I can make a video that addresses that. Again, thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and watch any of the other videos if you have any other questions on what I've done in the past in this series. If you want to get the latest info, go ahead and subscribe. Check out the channel page and have a great day.